Money can't buy it, I can't use it. I'm so glad we're rich. What good's wealth if you don't abuse it? I'm so glad we're rich. They say it can't buy happiness, but money can keep us together. They say it can't buy love, I guess, but money still makes love so much better. If money can't buy it, I don't want it. I'm so glad we're rich. The key is how you spend and flaunt it. I'm so glad we're rich. I'm so glad we're rich. I'm just glad we're rich. Hello, Mr. Bannister, sir. It's Surly. time to start the program. Excellent. We've got guests waiting in the wings. Would you like me to bring them out? Oh, yes, indeed. Let me go get well, them. Well, not, not until after the monologue. Oh, we still got to do that. Seat. Oh. Uh, one of the first I'll things I, I wanted to talk about today, as you know, I'm president of Bannister Stairs. Yes, we make I, designer stairs. I would know that. Yes, you would know that. Uh, we're working with Apple to design a new eye stair. An eye stare? Yes, you know. Do you stare at people? No, you know they ha they have iPhones, and, and uh, this will be an eye stare. IMAX and iPads. Basically, it does. It's the same as our regular stairs, but it costs five times more. Because? Because it's an eye stare. Ah, it's got more technology yes. involved. No, not really. Our motto is going to be "Why pay less?" I like that. Yes. Um, now, the the one enhancement we do have is it has softer steps each step on the stair. Or softer, so you sink into them? Yes, they're, they're covered with eye padding. Eye padding, of course. And yes, to make the stairs yeah, softer. Yeah, much better. Is there a mouse so that goes on them? But it, again, it's still in development. Right, So, yes. but it'll cost um, more. And then I have an item here uh, straight from uh, actual news. Really? This is real yes. actual news? Yes, in Coconut Grove, Florida, a man stole a resident's peacock. <coughs> A resident's peacock? Yes, uh, they, 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 they have it on security camera video. The man's scooping up and stealing the, um, the peacock while angry birds chase him. Wow, I would think so. So the what police, happened? Police then? are looking for him. I mean, what kind of person would commit such a foul deed? Yeah, that is awful. That is awful. I don't, I don't know. On what all what counts. What like kind that. of man would steal another man's peacock? Who knows? You know. Now, I guess if, if he wanted to eat it, that would make him a pea cook. A pea cook, yes. yes. Or if he was going to use the feathers to decorate a timepiece. That would make it... A pea clock. A pea clock for the timepiece. Now, now, luckily, um, the, uh, the, the authorities, the police, do have a person of in interest. They do? Yes. NBC. NBC, because that's their logo. Because that's their logo there. Sure. See? Well, that's good. But that part is just a joke. It's not well, actual. Well, luckily, news. we've got guests, yes, so we can yes. end this sooner. Yes. Uh, well, sooner rather than later. Uh, and then, um, then finally. There's more. Yes, as, as you know, uh, in the Banner Store, we sell my own personal line of uh, men's fragrances. Yes, aloof and smug. Smug and aloof and. Condescension for women. That's right. That's where right. they can actually smell you looking down your nose. That's a big seller, isn't it? Yes. Now, unfortunately, a woman had an allergic reaction. Oh, is she suing? Yes. Uh, well, not yet. We're still in negotiations. But uh, but ever since uh, uh, news of that came out, cologne sales uh, have taken a nosedive. They've taken a nosedive. Sure yes. They um, now now it turns out we did add a new ingredient that may have set her off. Uh, a, a new ingredient from from Egypt, actually. Yeah, well, why would you change it? Uh, well, we thought that, that, that this, this would help, um, but apparently not. Um, pheromones. Pheromones? Yes, that oh. we added to the cologne. Pheromones. So that may have been what she was, they see, because pharaohs been. were from, from Egypt, Egypt and, and, and they're just. The yeah, that's a long way to go for that. Oh. Well. Clear all the way to Egypt. It sounds like that. That joke actually drew Pharaoh moans. Uh, lots of moans, I gotta say. Goodness. Mm. So, can we bring the guest out? There's nothing else it, it, to be said, is there? It, it, no, it, it, it couldn't hurt. Good. Let me let me get them okay, for you. Please. Uh, 
Uh, we're particularly delighted to have with us here today, um, I, I'm sorry, who, who are you? Evermore Paranormal. I'm Suzanne. Oh, oh you're not Evermore Paranormal. No. Well, you're you might as well be. You're Suzanne. Mm -hmm. And your cohort? Jim. Jim, yes. Excuse me. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode. We're um, here today with uh, Jim and uh, Suzanne from the uh, Evermore Paranormal Network. Um, yes, thank you for coming. Um, now, it is, you are an Evermore mm -hmm. Pair of Normal Network. Is that because there are two of you? Well, we were joking about that the other day, that we're a pair of paranormal. You are a yeah. pair of normal, okay. And the Evermore, is that like, quote, the raven? No, that, that, that would be Nevermore. Nevermore. Oh, so, 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 Evermore. so it's like the battery. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No, wait, that's that's <laughs> ever, ever ready. ready. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is Evermore. So what is the Evermore Paranormal Network? Well, it's a TV show. It's a TV mm -hmm. show, okay. That is a talk show where we have guests on to talk about their paranormal experiences. Oh, paranormal. Yes. As in goes. beyond nomer, normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we have them come on and either, we have people come on, just anybody that's had a story and experience with a ghost. With a ghost. Sometimes aliens. That we're not really into the alien aspect of it. We're really focused on the parent the ghosts. Okay, so you're not probing the alien abductions. Not, not really, but we've yeah. actually learned with guests that have come on that a lot of them had alien encounters early on. Alien encounters. Okay. He he actually his first paranormal experience was um, an alien possible alien encounter. UFO okay. sighting. UFO so, sighting. So you talk to people about their paranormal experience and what type of paranormal experiences have these people had? Oh, it, it ranges from seeing a ghost to, like I said, uh, alien abductions, uh, all different kinds of things. Um, I really, do you, how about, what have some of the guests told us, yeah. some of the stories? Well, they, they see, um, see apparitions or ghosts yes. and, um, Sometimes it's reoccurring. Sometimes it's it's not. Just every once in a while, um, and then and they they hear things and they, they can't explain what they hear. I see. Uh, it's something much much like the monologue. <laughs> okay. Ex um, exactly. Okay. <laughs> We've learned that a lot of people that have the experiences have them early in between, say, age eight and twelve. <coughs> between They're eight and twelve. Eight right. and twelve years old. Um, that's what usually starts it. Mine was a near-death experience at age eight. Goodness. I almost drowned. And um, during, during the near-death experience, I was seeing a reel-to-reel -reel movie uh, of my loved ones. I was basically, now I look back, and it, it was probably that I was saying goodbye because I was hugging each of my loved ones, my pets, my grandma, mom, dad, and it was a black and white movie. But, 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 it was, but you might say it was a real experience. It was. Yes, it was a real. A real and a real to real. Yes, that's where I was going yes. with that. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. And I don't know what a jib is, but I like it. Anyway, uh, continue. Oh. You were drowning. Yes, well, let me say, I was drowning, all right. But the worst thing was, during, the mo during this movie that I was seeing, the devil appeared. The devil. The devil. The stereotypical okay. devil that you usually think of that's red with right. horns and a tail. Now, the movie was black and white, and it was happy. I was saying goodbye. That I mean, I was only eight. I didn't have much okay. of a, a movie to watch. Um, the devil was peeping in during okay. the movie. So, obviously, I didn't drown. But, that's but what, that's that wasn't the end of the story. It wasn't. No, because soon after, the devil started appearing in my mirror in my bedroom. And I lived in the apartment for 10 more years. I was eight, so eight to 18. And the devil, anytime I looked into my bedroom mirror, I would morph into the devil that I saw. Yes. For 10 years, well, I dealt with that. Which is why I never look into mirrors. <laughs> um, but, uh, it didn't do but it anywhere and, and, and else, wait, just the so, one mirror. So, so now you have the paranormal yes. news network, or the, just the paranormal network, mm -hmm. the ever more paranormal network. Right. OK. And. Um, and uh, and you brought some artifacts with you. Mm-hmm. 
What would you like me to talk about you first? You want me to talk about the globe? Okay, that is a snow globe, right? Snow globe. Okay. And it's also musical, which is important to the story. Okay. I turn it on just so it'll, it shouldn't it take long It plays Alley Cat. Okay. Yes, it does. It plays Alley Cat. Okay, so well, that, that doesn't seem super natural. And it should stop, really. It, and you know what? Basically, I was in an antique mall, and I yes. was upstairs all alone yes. about 3 in the afternoon. All of a sudden, I started hearing this playing. So, uh, okay. So I followed the sound. I found this, and... Um, it was like thirty dollars. I didn't want to spend thirty dollars on it. No, I do collect haunted not. objects. Yes. But I thought I really didn't like it. I don't like it. I think it's kind of tacky looking. Exactly. And so it, it didn't have a song that I related right. to either. So um, I just took a picture of it. When I got home, I uploaded the picture because I am writing a book on haunted yes. objects. And about ten feet away behind this globe is a woman, and she was like she had. She was short, had like a kind of like a perm. She was older. I think she might have been Asian. She had Asian and looking And she wasn't. Eyes. She wasn't in the photo. Or she wh or when she you wasn't took, upstairs. She wasn't there when you took the photo. Right. Okay. Right. So of course I went back and bought it. Then. Then it was like you okay, I got, had to have it. I see. So uh, that that definitely has. It's probably that woman that I saw. That's because it's to it's that. haunted. Yeah, but you know, when I took it home, I bought it. I took it home. It never it hasn't done anything since. Okay. So. So so so, so you were scammed <laughs> by this. By this ghost upstairs. Ghost. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, are, are you an attorney? No. Because they say possession is nine tenths of the law. Oh yes. <laughs> See, and if this thing were truly possessed, then it would help to be. Exactly. Yep. A member of the bar. <laughs> yes. Just a little banister humor. Um, now, now, do you work out often? Work out? No, That's not much. So, so you don't exorcise regularly? No, but we should. Yes, I see. Okay. We exercise when we ghost hunt. Believe me, it's more uh, physical than you would think. Okay. Uh, now, what? You else? know, you got to run. I'm joking. Yes. You got to run away a lot. Yes. <laughs> now, now, um, what else do you have for us here? Okay. Well, let me talk about this this book. It's a book. It's a book. Okay. And it's a book on um, Wicca, witch, witchcraft. I and, see. And um, our other show that we do, I don't know if you want me to hold it. Or well, that isn't necessarily you don't need paranormal, to. is it? No, it's, well, it all kind of ru runs together. I mean, I ghost mean, hunters, book. anywhere you go, I mean, a book. But I mean, ghost hunters, witches, psychics, they all are usually at the same conventions. Okay. So what's what's the special about this? Yes. Okay, so we have another show that we, uh, besides the studio show, yes. it's called Evermore Paranormal Road Trip. Yes. And we've already been out in the field and, and filmed a whole bunch of episodes. And this was at the first place that we were going to, that we filmed for the show. Right. It's going to be the premiere for the show, which will probably come out in July. So this, this is a, it's called the Crystal Wand in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's a okay. metaphysical store. So anyway, we were interviewing the owner, talking about all the stuff that they have and the, right. the lectures and so on. Then I was talking to the psychic, who's been my own personal psychic for years. Okay. After, after the, well, she told me that one of the things that happens at the store all the time is they come in in the morning and a book's laying in the middle of the floor. And it's just the two of them. Nobody else could be there to, you know, so do a, this. So nobody a, else could be in there. So a ghost is is taking books off the shelf and throwing them on the floor. Yeah. And so we had just gotten done talking, filming the story. Excuse me, sir. Sorry to interrupt right now. Ah, just it's take tea a second. time. Yes, thank you. Tea time. Enjoy. Okay, you thank finished you. filming the story. Okay, so we were filming the, uh, the story, and we, she had just told me about the story, and we were walking out, and I passed the bookshelf where the books are, right. and I stopped and I said, um, throw one of those books out. You know, I just kind of joked around. Right. I turned around, and as I did, this book flew off the shelf. It flew off yes. the shelf. I mean, I did, all I heard was thump did behind me. Did you see this? I didn't see it. I, I was... I actually had to stand there for the camera, but it wasn't on because we just got done. Of course not. And yeah, right. 
course not. I just, we just got done filming, and all of a sudden, it just hear this noise, and I kind of see it laying there on the floor, just like you know, it just happened. Like, mm -hmm. strange. <laughs> okay, so. And so, is the book haunted? I don't know. I, I haven't read the book yet, but I think I, I was going to buy the book, but the owner gave it to me because there was obviously some kind of message or reason why the book was thrown. Yes. So sooner or later, I'll get around to you reading get it. Get around to reading the book. Yes. That that's the spirit. Yes, that's, that's right. the, spirit, that's the right. spirit. Yes, thank you. A little bit of banister humor, <laughs> not too much. You know, we just don't want to overdose. Um, <laughs> now, you mentioned this psychic. Do you do you know a lot of psychics? I yes, a lot of psychics. A lot of a lot of ghost hunters have abilities. Now, I have some abilities myself. Which which, which leads me to my next question. Um, I am always nonplussed by this. Mm -hmm. Why don't more psychics? work at banks. I maybe they do. You know, I don't know. As fortune tellers. Ah, uh, yeah. See? You would you, you wouldn't enough. have to you wouldn't have to fill out any forms or anything because they would already know yeah, exactly what right, you exactly. wanted to transact when you show up. Yeah. The problem is most I have tons of psychic friends and uh, they really they can't really predict their own lives. They, you know, it comes. I, they'll have a message and they'll share it with somebody, but um, now is they this, wouldn't. Is the psychic the same as being a medium? Um, I, what do you think? The psychic. They're all they'll, different they'll types. They'll say of that. Psychics. Yeah, there's different types. And a medium, I think, not. and I'm not a, a psychic medium, <coughs> but they are able to conjure up the mm -hmm. the actual entity that you want to talk to. Like now, if you want to talk to somebody deceased, which is can, another. Mm -hmm. it, um, intriguing question if a medium is obese does mm -hmm. that make them a large medium oh we got a joke for that one you want to oh tell the joke no go ahead okay. no no please I don't remember. he has a name I don't he remember. has a name he's a psychic 2xl oh yeah that's his name actually <laughs> ah i see okay <laughs> he's not a medium he's a psychic 2xl yep we had that's a I, little joke that we always yes. tell okay and uh, what else do we have here okay well let's see did you want to well, you want to show them what this is and how this it is, works? This we can is see if you're haunted or not. K2 meter. And K2 it, meter. Right, and it measures the uh, electronic magnetic field because spirits are, are supposedly made up of energy.